Howdy, welcome back to Leah's Leaves. Very excited about this video. Um, over the last two years, I've been participating in some really neat seed swaps, and it was a great opportunity not only to expand the seed options that I have for my garden and expose me to varieties I hadn't heard of before or probably wouldn't have thought to try on my own, but it also has connected me to more members of the gardening community, particularly here on YouTube. And that's been a wonderful experience because it exposes me to growers that are growing either in my zone or maybe at my scale. And we obviously share a passion for growing our own food and increasing sustainability and eliminating food shortages and all kinds of stuff that gardeners these days are really interested in doing. So I decided to try it and I want to invite you to my very first ever Leah's Leaves Seed Swap here toward the end of 2021. So here's how this is going to work. The cost to participate will be $5 plus whatever postage you use to send me the seeds that you're going to share with other participants. And you're going to prepare 10 packs of seeds. So that'll eventually even out to work out to you'll get you'll pay about 50 per 50 cents per seed pack that you receive, which is a pretty good deal considering this is a great way to uh Get new varieties you've never tried before. Meet new gardeners you've never known before. Uh, find out what's out there. I mean, it's like hundreds and thousands of varieties of everything that are new to me on a yearly basis. And I've grown gardened off and on my whole life. To make it easy to participate and kind of remember dates and everything if you can send me all of your seed packets by Halloween then I can have them coordinated and ready to send out in time for you to receive them by Thanksgiving so you're you're going to aim to send me your 10 seed packets by October 31st okay and then the goal will be you know hoping that the postal services um, operational <laughs> still in Thanksgiving time, you'll be able to receive those by mid to late November. You can send your seeds early, but please don't send them late. That way I can be assured that everything's being sorted and evenly distributed. And I'll do my best for my part to make sure that you don't receive any of your own seeds back. Uh, but, but all 10 varieties that get sent to you will be new to you. Okay. Um, as far as what to put in your seed packs, heirlooms are preferred. Any kind of vegetable, fruit, herb, or flower is fine. All gardens need benefit from all of those things. Biodiversity is our friend, and flowers are great attractors for pollinators. What I would suggest is that for large, flower, large plants or heavily fruiting plants, so that would be like Anything from pumpkins and squashes, which would be large plants, to tomatoes, peppers, okra, which would be heavy fruiting plants. A minimum of five seeds, please. A minimum of five. You can go higher than that should you choose, but please at least have five seeds of a variety in each pack. Um, that goes for flowers and herbs, too. As far as leafy greens and root crops go, though, not only are the seeds smaller and you get like 300 in a pack anyway, but especially root crops, that's a one-for-one -one ratio. One seed produces one carrot. One seed produces one uh, radish, etc. So a minimum of 15 for those. Leafy, leafy greens and root crops. At least 15 seeds. Again, you can go higher than that, but try to avoid going lower than that. You can be as generous as you want, but you can't be as stingy as you want. If you're a gardener who uses social media, I'd love for you to include a little tag in each of your plant, uh, packets with your usernames so that all the participants can find you and follow you 
And again, it's a, not only for you to get new seeds, but it's also a great way to introduce you to gardeners and growers who are sharing useful content about their garden on social media. For instance, I have a Facebook page called Leah's Leaves, and I have a YouTube channel, uh, which is what you're watching right now. So I'll make sure to include that information in my seed packet so that uh, if I'm new to you, you can find me, okay? Uh, please label the specific variety if you can. I understand sometimes we don't know what we're planting. Maybe we inherited a plant or we bought it you know, discounted without a tag or something like that. Don't guess if you don't know. But if you do know, try to be as specific as possible. So for example, instead of just saying spinach, if you know it's Bloomsdale spinach, write Bloomsdale spinach. If it's, uh, instead of just saying it's okra, if you know that it's Clemson spineless okra or heavy hitter okra or red burgundy okra or emerald okra, then be specific and share the, the particular variety. You can uh, send your $5 to me. I use either Venmo or PayPal, so you have both of those options. And I'm going to link in the description below what my usernames are because it's different for each one of those. So make sure you check that and that you use the right username for the right service. And then the, at the same time you're sending your $5 to participate, you're also just do it right immediately. That way you won't forget you're also going to send an email to me at leahsleaves at hotmail.com to let me know your name and address and just put seed swap in the memo line and I will put all those in a folder together and keep those sorted so that I am keeping track of who's participating. Okay. Any other questions, comments, concerns, complaints, problems, traumas, dilemmas, or points of clarification can be dropped in the comments below. And I would love for you to share this video around. There is no limit to the number of participants who can join our seed swap. Everybody who participates is going to pay $5 and send 10 packs of seeds. It doesn't have to be the same seed. You can send 10 packs of the same type of seed if you have that much extra of one, but you don't have to. So if you have a few, uh, enough carrots to send three packs and then enough uh, okra to send two packs and enough of a particular tomato to send three packs. You can divide them up that way. It's no problem. Um, in fact, that's kind of fun because it'll add to the variety that we all have available to us in the end. Uh, so don't worry about all that. And, oh, and the last thing is, because there's no limit to the number of participants, go right below this video. You'll see the share button. After you've hit the like button and the subscribe button, and you've left me a comment, uh, you can also hit the share button and that will either give you the option to share to your social media platforms or copy link. And you can copy the link and then paste the link into an email or a text message and begin sharing this video with other growers or people that you've been talking to or that you know about who have thought about growing a garden but haven't taken the leap yet. This would be a wonderful, easy way for them to begin building their little home garden seed vault to have varieties ready to go in the ground for their first 2022 gardening season. So keep that in mind. And otherwise, I hope that you'll participate. I hope that you will um, be generous with your seeds. I hope that you'll get a, a fantastic variety sent back to you by Thanksgiving if you do participate, and so that as many people can benefit from this as possible, I hope you'll share this video. I'm learning a lot. I'm sharing it here. I hope you'll come grow with me. Thanks a lot. God bless. Bye.